guys today I will show you how to create this cool lightsaber for VR in Unity uh, it's beginner friendly you can just follow along if you have any issues you can download the full project from my patreon page you find a link in the description uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any issues please ask me in the comment section so let's start so first I'm gonna bring in my lightsaber handle you can find this uh, with my project on Patreon or you can just find your own model online or you can just use a cube or whatever for now. It's not important, it's only a model. Now find volumetric lines in the asset store. Download and import. Now find the line that's called lightsaber and that's a little bit too big right so I'm gonna try 0.01 it looks kind of good I'm not gonna spend too much time making the size perfect you can do that if you like let's rotate it 90 along the C and place it where we want it to be create an empty game object call it lightsaber and drag in both the handle and the volumetric line I'm gonna place it a little bit better So you can adjust the size of the actual laser by dragging this to the right or the left while selecting the volumetric line. I'm going to leave it as default. So create a script. I'm calling it lightsaber. And in this script we're first going to have a private variable and it's going to be the actual laser or the actual blade of the sword. I'm calling it laser. We're gonna grab that from the child of this transform. So in the find we gotta put whatever the blade or laser game object is called and it's this name. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in here. And this way we can get a child. So if the structure would be different, if the blade would be a child of the lightsaber inside the child, then we would have to specify that this way. But that's not what we want to do. I just want to show how transform.find works. Next, we want to specify private vector free, and this is the full size of the sword when it's fully activated so in the start function we're gonna get the laser transform dot local scale to save whatever is the full size we also want to set the laser local scale to a new vector 3 which is going to be 0 on the y-axis and the full size x and the full size c on the x and c axis. Now when we start the game we, we should get a laser that is pulled in or not activated whatever you would call it. So if laser dot transform dot local scale y is less than full size size dot y, then laser dot transform dot local scale plus equals new vector three, and now we want to extend the sword. So let's do each frame 0.0001 
on the Y and nothing on the X and C. And this should now very slowly extend the sword when we play the game. And it does, it's from the wrong direction, but we only have to spin it. So minus 90 to spin it 180 degrees, since we already had spun it 90 degrees. And just like that, try it out. And that's what we want. The sword is extending out from the handle. We want it to go faster. So I removed a zero. And that looks good. We can adjust finely tune this later. So let's first have a public OVR input controller, controller, which will be in which hand this uh, the lightsaber is held, and a private bool if the sword is activated or not. So if OVR input gets down. And let's take the number, the one button, which is A on the Oculus controllers. And on the specified controller. So if we press A, we want to activate the sword. So in this if statement, let's add if activate. Else, if not activate, like if, uh, if activate is false, and the local laser dot transform y is bigger or equal to full size y, then we want to make the blade smaller. But actually this will need to be zero, of course. As long as the blade is longer than zero, make it smaller in case we have deactivated it. And this, this will make it so if activate is true, activate will be false. If activate is false, activate will be true. We are negating whatever activate is and you see that can, that works. So let's add another if statement. And we just want to disable the laser. If activate is false and it's no longer longer than zero. And we want to make it true in here when we are extending it. So this is all the logic we need for the actual laser and I'm gonna bring that out to an, its own method calling it laser control I'm pressing alt enter here and then clicking extract method and naming it that's all that's happening nothing uh, no functionality will change it just moves it to a method so let's create an audio source oops Game object dot add component audio source. You can do this in the editor as well if you like, but I'm, I'd like to do it in the script. So that's the audio source. And let's set the spatial brand to 3D. By setting one, we are making it 3D. And let's get the velocity of the controller, because when the player swings the controller, we want to play the sound of a laser, uh, a lightsaber moving. So OVR input dot con get local controller angular velocity, and in here we need to pass the controller. And uh, if velocity is larger than five, say, let's say six, you have to fine tune this, I'm just gonna use a number. Source.play one shot of 
the sound of the lightsaber moving. So we're gonna get that sound. We also have to do velocity dot magnitude. So let's bring in the sounds. Public audio clip. Saber moving sound. And another one. Public audio clip. I can't spell. Saber hum, which is just the static hum of the saber. So, whenever we're not moving the sword and playing the move sound, we just want to play the hum. So I have found my sounds online. I'm just going to create a sound folder. You can get my sounds at Patreon or find your own. There's probably a lot of them online. And there we go. Now drag them to the Saber slots or to the sound slots in the Saber. Remember to make them public. If you can't see them in the editor, you have compiled errors or you didn't make them public. Let's also adjust the volume. You might have to change this to whatever you feel. It's good for your game. Now to place a sword in the hand, I usually use these touch controllers because it makes it a lot easier. Now I'm just gonna drag the saber as a child of the right hand anchor and fit it inside the handle of the touch controller. That way I know it will be placed correctly. Gonna drag the whole camera rig up a little bit and now start adjusting it and placing it in the handle because the player hand will be exactly at the controller handle. And then I'm just gonna disable the controller and I still have the sword. It's really simple. So we want to add if active here, or else we will get the sounds even when the uh, sword is deactivated, the saber is deactivated. So we only want to play the sounds if we are active. And do the same down here. Next, we want to add a audio clip for starting the saber. And we want to play that inside here. In case if active is true, then we want to play the sound. And if active is false, then we want to play the end sound. And we also need to create the end sound. So 
All right, so let's import the sounds. There we go. And drag them into the slots. And that is it guys. This should work now. Uh, if you have any issues, ask me, uh, like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. Good luck, guys.